Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says rules of UN Charter will work to help the war with Russia during Security Council meeting. One day in this hall, it will surely be said that Russia's war against Ukraine has ended, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said. Russia's war against Ukraine will end because the UN Charter will work. Zelensky's speech in the UN Security Council came amid the United Nations General Assembly debate. Action is needed, Zelensky said. Russia can only be forced into peace. One day in this hall, it will surely be said that Russia's war against Ukraine has ended, not frozen, not paused, not forgotten, truly ended. And this will happen not because someone got tired of the war, not because someone traded something with Putin. Russia's war against Ukraine will end because the UN Charter will work. And we are defending what every nation would surely want to protect for itself and what the UN Charter grants to all. And it is Russia that always has to lie to justify its war, not us. Russia cannot refer to the UN Charter to explain what it is doing against us, against Ukraine. Ukrainians are wounded and killed every day. Today, once again, Russian bombs hit residential buildings. Even an ordinary bread factory became a target. What's so threatening to Russia about making bread? Putin has no answer and Russia never, never has an honest answer when asked why its army kills children in Ukraine, defeats schools and hospitals, and fights not for justice, but for a blackout for a neighboring nation. From the very first second of this war, Russia has been doing things that cannot possibly be justified under the UN Charter. Every destroyed Ukrainian city, every burned village, and there are already hundreds and hundreds swords as proof that Russia is committing an international crime. Action is needed, and I'm grateful to all the nations that are truly helping in ways that save the lives of our people. Putin has broken so many international norms and rules that he won't stop on his own. Russia can only be forced into peace. And that is exactly what's needed, forcing Russia into peace at the sole aggressor in this war, the sole violator of the UN Charter. Unity always works for peace. And we have to prepare the second peace summit to end the war altogether. And I invite all of you, all principled nations, to join us in this process, all who truly respect the UN Charter. This is reflected in the peace formula. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky told the Summit for the Future at the United Nations Monday that his country supports efforts to keep all nations united, safe and strictly adhere to the UN Charter. We are now preparing for the secondary summit moving forward with our partners, Zelensky said. We are working on food security, energy security, and holding Russia accountable for its terror. The Pact for the Future, approved by the General Assembly on Sunday, aims to meet the challenges of the 21st century and unite the world's divided nations to move quickly to implement the agreement's 56 actions. Russia proposed an amendment that would have significantly watered down the agreement. Only six countries supported Russia Iran, Belarus, North Korea, Nicaragua, Sudan and Syria. Fifteen countries abstained. Putin has stolen much already, but he will never steal the world's future, Zelensky said. It's important that the world is working to develop a shared vision for the best future for humanity. As soon as such collective efforts begin, true interests are always revealed. Ukraine supports efforts to keep all nations united, safe and strictly adhere to the UN Charter. This time during the work on the Pact for the Future, the same small group of seven accomplices led by Russia has once again 
acted destructively, always opposing any global initiatives that strengthen the effectiveness of the UN Charter. We are now preparing for the Second Peace Summit, moving forward with our partners step by step according to the peace formula. And we are working on food security, energy security, and holding Russia accountable for its terror. We will address all other points of the peace formula, including the release of prisoners, the restoration of territorial integrity, and more. And we are preparing a document to present at the second peace summit. I invite all leaders, nations to continue supporting our joint efforts for a just and peaceful future. Putin has stolen much already, but he will never steal the world's future, I'm sure. I thank